Yes, sir. Back with another video, reacting to the story of Nazi BK, the Times Square Driller. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all think he gonna be back? I don't know. Free him, though. I ain't gonna lie. Suck my YGK. 47K. Now 4K. Suck my... Smoking on all y'all... I know, this, this thing is the most disrespected nigga I ever met, bro. I ain't gonna lie, cuz. Yeah. This nigga be saying some disrespectful shit. Him, Keem, um, who else? Who else? Set the trend? Yagi B. Shaggy K. Mad niggas. Shaggy's. Mad niggas. Like, I'm really on that. You don't know who I am? Google. <laughs> Yeah, I see that. Oh, he, got, like, he was bugging. Bro, he was like, he got arrested for this, and then he got arrested for that thing, too, right? Damn. It's like two. Yo, yo back up, up that name, bro. Yo, yo, back up, 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 back up. Yo, 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 back up. You have just learned a man who was... This nigga Booba was panicking. He didn't know what to do, bro. Out on a crowded street in Times Square tonight is... Happened around 5.30 this evening, 44th Street between 8th and 9th Avenues. Police say the got into an argument with two other men before getting in the chest. It happened just behind me, midway between the entrance to the Intercontinental Hotel and this corner where there's a shake shack. The 22-year-old then ran down the block for help, but he collapsed and he didn't make it. In Port Delia, I go there every single day to to purchase to purchase something to eat and to hear about that that's that's extremely like scary like i walk this block all the time and nobody knows why i do the things that i do like nobody feel me yo this shit is crazy like i'm the bad guy i'm the bad guy like 24 7 i can never win so do you have any children under the age of 18. Yeah. i'm sorry i didn't hear you Hey yo squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. Nigga, so I can't hear you. When you clearly see the nigga shake his head, but alright, bro. Man, rappers stay fumbling the bag. It's like they allergic to freedom and wealth. Now, nah, word or bro, like can y'all just make music and move away from the hood? Simple. Bring your homies if you don't want to be in the. Hood. You feel me? I mean, you're not really leaving anybody behind. You taking your homies with you. Why y'all still? For me, like, IZBK is the newest member of the play stupid games when stupid prizes club. The internet has street dudes risking it all for clout, but this time it backfired when Nas EBK allegedly attacked a civilian and then followed it up with allegedly sliding on the op in public who succumbed to his injuries. Now his rap career is in the wind and he's arrested by U.S. Marshals fighting for his life for the body. Where he is now is the worst place to be. Does he stand a chance of beating the case with the evidence against him? We're gonna find out. So, without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. Bronx Savage Nasir Valenzuela, aka Nas EBK, has got himself caught up in the trenches. Far from the young scholar and basketball student he was with the bright future ahead. This is what happens. Gonna be a third. Oh my, of course, academics is sucking his. Come on, bro. No one needs to hear what you gotta say, gang. Just move on. For me, like, we don't gotta. He gonna be like, I told you so. Like, bro, you think he don't know that? Come on, gang. 30s, maybe 40s, just looking washed. You'd rather have that time that you could spend with your family and spend it in the real world, man. Nas EBK, like many other kids, wanted the bread, no crumbs. And the trap was sprung when he turned to the streets and got a taste of the loaf from the devil's bakery. You being a kid and you wanting money. Yo, inside, you, yo, you spitting right now. Hold on, what's going on? They got some poems for some shit. Like, what's you a poet now, nigga? I'm gonna bring you to the streets. And once you're in the streets and you get money, you gonna get haters. Feel me? When you get haters, there's niggas that will try to feel me. And then you gotta tweet. And that's how I just started. After that, I never looked back. One thing led to the next, and the next to another, and the Bronx drill blew up. And Nazi BK came through with the entire New York with the highly disrespectful track bunny in the. I ain't gonna lie. I'm tired of seeing Murder B, bro. She pisses me off. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't got, like, I don't hate, like, I don't got no hate for her. It's just, like, just looking at her and, like, every song, every track just pisses me off. I don't know why, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why. Box where he was dissing everything breathing. Bro lived up his name. <laughs> 
Yeah, he a disrespectful ass nigga. Respectful track bunny in the box where he was dissing everything Happy breathing. Did. Bro lived up his name, Nazi BK, aka everybody killer. Nazi BK was out here going crazy on the ops with no remorse. If you on the other side, I'm not gonna give a f because you my opera regardless. He started making waves in the music industry, but come 2023, the shenanigans got the best of them. YouTube creators yeah. began. Him and that again. Oh my god. Yo, them two on the track. Disrespect of this smoking this, popping this. Oh, he got hit. Like, oh my god, bro. Him and Yagi are demons, bro. I don't they they so disrespectful. I don't care, bro. But come 2023, the shenanigans got the best of them. YouTube creators began making more bands than even some rappers. So Nazi BK got on the prank trend, but with the temper, that wasn't the best idea. First, he tried the stealing luggage prank at the airport, and when one civilian and his girl wasn't feeling it, we were relax, bro. Relax, relax bro. He's joking. It's a joke. You're being white. <laughs> Like, I'm really on that, you don't know who I am? He turned up and was ready for whatever. As if that wasn't a sign that the prank wave wasn't for him, Nazi BK linked up with a well-known YouTube prankster and drama setter, Booba 100, and they decided to go to ShopRite in Rochelle Park and shout at customers. Look, I feel like we're barely gonna see people right now, but yo, Nas. <laughs> but Booba should have never put, like, he should have cut that part out for me. Like, now it's just looking at, now, like, it's just looking bad for him. <laughs> But Nazi BK met his match when they started playing with one Asian dude by taking his hat. You know how to dance? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Good, right? Yes. Yeah. Dance. Hold on. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. yes. Oh, 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 oh. Yo. Don't do that, buddy. Yo, wait. Why did you hit me? Hey, Bobby. You hit me. Hey, Bobby. I didn't hit you. I just shot on your hat. Oh, 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 oh. Asian dude wasn't having it and was ready to lay something out after a whole Nah, he was not having it at all. He was on Thomas. <laughs> he, yo, he was on BT. He was not having that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Whole scene in the store, he turned to walk away, and that's when Nazi BK jump kicked him and dipped. Well, that was the last straw. A YouTube account by the name of Zen, known for making it his duty to gather information and pass it on to the cops. To He's a cop! Clean up the city, released videos detailing the Kapow. Cleaning up the city. I think it's weird, bro. Info on Nas EBK shenanigans along with his rap lyrics. Really? Hit him like Kobe? That's something crazy? Really, bro? Come on, bro. It's a possible crimes and spent a lengthy call with the cops ratting on Nas EBK. I'm here to inform everyone that I just got off the phone with the New York City Police Department. I of course he sounds like that, too. I'm not even shocked. I'm really not. I informed them of a rapper slash YouTube prankster by the name of Nazi BK, who has been terrorizing civilians left and right for his stupid YouTube prank videos. The police officer and I told them about the lyrics in his music because I'm sure there's a lot of confessions of murder slash shootings that can be found in the lyrics of his songs. Tonight, I'm gonna go. Nah, he's bugging. Oh my god. Bro, you know how much rappers be capping? Like, come on, bro. I'm not saying Nazi BK is a capo, but like. Bro, like, who's really gonna believe that? Who? Song by song. And whenever I hear some sort of confession, I'm gonna try to write them down and I'm gonna I'm gonna write an entire document. I'm gonna send it over to New York City Homicide Unit so that they can look further into this. Nazi BK is gonna go. Why? What are you getting out of this? What do you gain? Go down and I'm gonna be responsible for it. You better bottom dollar, buddy. February 20. Buddy. <laughs> This thing is a dweeb. The fuck? First 2023, his efforts proved successful. So Nas EBK has been charged with terroristic threats and assault over a YouTube prank video that was filmed at a local grocery store. Marshals were already on the prowl for the airport pranking incident, so this just increased their efforts. Nas EBK was arrested. What the hell? Why'd he put him over here? Oh, nah and charged with possession of a weapon for unlawful purposes, simple assault and disorderly conduct and held at Bergen County Jail. And so I'm happy to announce that tonight, Nazi BK has been incarcerated. Now people are wondering online, like why did this happen? I'm here to say I am the sole responsible person for Nazi BK being incarcerated. His IG would make a- Who cares, nigga? Fuck, what you gonna get? Nothing post with his mugshot saying free him till it's backwards while at the same time promoting new music 
Bruh didn't give a damn. Now ZBK got caught up for the views. I don't know what else he thought was going to happen doing something like that on video and worse yet, letting it be posted. It was exactly... Yeah, I'm going to lie. That shit was pretty reckless. But like I said, Booba should have not, feel me? But whatever. I'm not putting the blame on Booba, though. I'm not. I'm just saying. The kind of thing that comes back to haunt you and Nazi BK was gonna learn that firsthand. What's messed up is that dude knew the clip will result in trouble for Nazi BK but still posted it up on his channel, then ghosted when he got locked. Nas, homie Kenzo Baller will call out Booba for using Nazi BK for his views and then dipping, leading to an online back and forth between the two. Then guess what Booba did? He eventually shouted out Nazi BK saying free him, but did so while posting up the YouTube plaque. I don't know, but something kind of disrespectful to flex the YouTube wins while bro locked up because of the YouTube vid posted on his channel. All right, so boom, bro got some charges. Do you have any children under the age of 18? Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. But he was back outside again, and it was time to change and just focus on music, right? Well, on March 10th, 2023, not even a month later, Nasir was arrested for the hit of a 22-year-old by the name of Adrisa Sibe. Bro went from bad to worse. According to reports, around 5.37 p.m. on February 9th, Nazi BK and affiliates allegedly got into an altercation with Sibe at the corner of 44th Street and 8th Avenue in Times Square in front of the Shake Shack. It was allegedly a deal gone wrong. Sources tell us this started as a fight, a possible a deal, not in Times Square. Who the fuck? What? No, that's dumb. No, who does the deal? In Bro, what? That's no. That's cat. Deal gone wrong that quickly escalated. The shift manager of the store went to the bathroom, and in that short pace of time. There was blue lights flashing outside and she came out to hear somebody was shot. I was in a bathroom and I just heard that someone got shot. That's it. Clara Mentorino was a shift manager at a nearby Shake Shack. She tells Fox 5 she was on the clock when she stepped away to use the bathroom. By the time Mentorino got out, she says she saw a massive police presence and flashing lights. Turns out, during that space of time, an argument escalated between Nazi BK and the victim, and he allegedly upped a pole on the dude and striked him on the right side of his chest. People scattered in a panic at the sound of the strap going off, and dude realized the danger and then took off running about a block away into a deli store. Surveillance footage captures him entering the store and trying to find help at the counter on the inside of the Port Gourmet Deli. He then ran a full city block before collapsing in front of this deli at 43rd and 8th, where he begged a worker to call 911. Before standing out, clutching his chest and looking as if he was having difficulty breathing while somebody tries to assist. Shortly after, he collapsed on the floor. It's reported that he went into cardiac arrest. Officers would arrive on the scene to find him with a wound in his chest. Medical personnel would provide CPR at the scene before transporting him to Mount Sinai West Hospital in critical condition. Sadly, he passed away due to his injuries. Now the 22 year old was rushed into surgery at Mount Sinai West, but sadly he did not survive. He succumbed to his injuries. Being in such a busy area where the residents of the city got live on air voicing their fears of how things have become unsafe, it was no surprise cops didn't mix matters tracking down the suspects. I feel uncomfortable. I feel I have to do something else. I have to move out of the city. I'm in the city 47 years. In Port Delhi, I, I go there. I'm in the city 47 years. <laughs> Every single day the... Sir, I don't think that was part of the script. <laughs> To purchase to purchase something to eat and to hear about that that's that's extremely like scary like I walk this walk all the time and that's that's insane. Very sad, just very sad. What's going on in the city? Now ZBK was allegedly out there raising the crime rate and they wasted no time capturing and throwing him in the police whip. It's alleged that the victim was affiliated with the YGs and Now ZBK is an official YGs killer, as made clear by his debut diss track "Bunny in the Box," where he made sure to put YGK in the title. As it stands, Now ZBK is facing a second degree hit charge. Now ZBK's IG account will post a pic with the word "innocent" and the caption, "Only God can judge me." Be home soon free the guys management was riding half caption <laughs> he said he said all the who's gonna tell him you're literally on vid gang <laughs> what you mean <laughs> oh man nah gang not gonna lie i don't think you be in these ones see you in 30 years my heart yeah <sighs> yeah
option. Only God can judge me. Be home soon. Free the guys. Management was riding hard for the boy while he was gone and made sure to pass on his thoughts through IG. It seemed like Nas BK started realizing that the lifestyle wasn't one of loyalty and trust. Dudes would hype you up to crash out only to leave you hanging when behind them walls. Seemed for a second some maturity was setting in and the reality was sinking some sense into bro. But on March 15, 2023, his account made an IG post with a nice spiritual caption. But where he went wrong was including the phrase, free the real risk takers. But I do have a problem with you saying free the real risk takers. Because the people you call risk takers, the majority of them that's locked up, there was no risk to be taken. He also attached the jail recording where, of course, he started off with making some classic Bronx gunshot ad libs, then continuing to verbally shout at the real risk takers before informing fans he coming home soon and it's going to be a major comeback. Now, this is when dudes need to realize they got to stop with the gangster persona and start acting like you innocent and a good person. Why would you? You get out faster on good behavior why y'all doing this shit i don't get it you'd be locked up for a body but aligning yourself as a real risk taker if i'm the prosecutor i'm looking at that like oh so you out here on criminal deeds risking it all huh because who else is a risk taker that got hemmed up behind bars to make matters worse check out this post that he made days later on march 18th bro shared what is believed to be an old tiktok clip but what's important is the song and the words of the clip the boy is rapping about i tote my glizzy yeah that's the two ninja act crazy we aiming at you where they hit his neck his back his neck his back at the end of the day there's only so much you can try to do to try to talk people out of the gang lifestyle they have to want to capitalize on the opportunities their way and move in a better direction now zbk is just too caught up in the drilling now his freedom hangs in the balance like so many other bronx drillers if this keeps up, the entire of the Bronx drill artists will either be murked or in jail. Hope they wise up. As of right now, management has made it known to the fans if they would like to send some racks to him, send a DM on his IG. Anybody sending this nigga racks, bro? Come on, bro. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> that, that shit crazy, dog. A lot. But yeah, that shit was crazy. Let me know what, what I should react to next. For me in the comments, let me know what I should react to next. For me. If you like this video, subscribe, leave a like, and yeah, y'all stay safe, bro. This video was crazy. Free Nazi BK, you heard?